हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ एंड क्रोपर इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई विल हेल्प यू टू लर्न मोर अबाउट एक्स पाथ एंड सी एस एस सेलेक्टर्स एरर्स लाइक मैनी टाइम्स वी डेंट गेट टू नो लाइक वाई आर सेलेक्टर आर एक्स पाथ वाई वेरीफाइंग वी डेंट गेट टू नो लाइक वाई सोइंग जीरो मैचिंग नोट वो स्ट्रॉन्ग इन आर एक्स पाथ इज देर एनी थिंग मिसिंग इन आर सेलेक्टर is it possible what is possible what is not possible what is mandatory what's not mandatory and all those things i will help you to uh, understand about all these errors and how to uh, like solve this problem what is the solution to uh, get the resolution for all these problems like how can we identify those errors so everything i will explain in this video tutorial so uh, for an example let's say we have written an x path for any element uh, on any websites we are writing so let's say if you right click and inspect this element and for an example suppose you have copied the x path from here okay and now you paste this x path here in dev tools it is finding 0 0 but if you look at it now let me just make it upside so that it will be better visible for you guys okay so if you see that it is showing zero of zero as of now but does it tell you tell us that uh, while verifying in chrome dev tools or in any browser dev tools does it tell us that what's wrong here no we didn't get to know and suppose if i'm a beginner i just started learning about selectors i won't be able to like identify what exactly was wrong there suppose it uh, that uh i might like hit and trial i just did something like this but still it is giving something error like this is not it's, it's still finding zero of zero if we take more example like let's say uh as a beginner i just started learning automation and all i just right click on this element or just let's say inspect this element here okay and i did right click copy this x path from here i started using it in my script but when i try to verify this x path here in chrome dev tools it will it is showing 0 of 0 that mean this is wrong but what's wrong there we we didn't get to know right likewise if we uh, verify any i uh, mean inspect any element and then uh, just copy x path and try to verify in chrome dev tools it is showing 0 of 0 every place so all by this all these ways we didn't get to know like what's wrong in our selector and why it is showing 0 of 0 if something wrong like knowingly if you just write uh, something wrong in your selector or while copy pasting the value while verifying the value here in chrome dev tools let's say like this if you uh, write it here and by mistake you add something or delete it something then it will never tell us that what's wrong in your selector so how to solve these problems and how to learn about like what are the errors in our selector why it's showing 0 of 0 so here is the solution the very first smart editor or you can say the compiler for your xpath and css selectors selector sub which will give you the exact error like what's wrong in your selector what is possible what is not possible like if you today if you write here let's say triple forward slash we have written but it's not telling you anything if we have written something like this it's it doesn't tell it didn't tell us that's what wrong in our selector in your selector in your xpath right so for that get your amazing innovation here for free absolutely free it is just uh, click on for whichever browser you want to add like chrome firefox azure opera so okay so it is already added in my browser so once you add it in, it is like simply install an extension after adding it just reload all the pages which you have already uh, opened or just restart the browser to make best use of it and i would also recommend you to watch this video tutorial here to make the best use of selector sub okay it's also there in this youtube channel where you are watching you can subscribe to this so you get all the updates and upcoming videos like this i will be preparing a lot more video uh, like this kind of informative video which will help you a lot to become a perfect uh, uh in dom knowledge and the selectors and automation and everything it will be helping okay so what's wrong in this selector or uh like 
we just type like this and we are not able to find out what is wrong there okay or like this still it is failing how to solve this problem how to get the what is the compiler what is the solution who will tell us like there is not man there is not a mentor always beside us who can help us right so what you do after adding a selector sub in your browser if you won't be able to find you see that there is a default extension icon click on this it will show you on the toolbar now and here if you open chrome dev tools left side you will see the dom on right side there will be couple of sidebars if selector sub is not visible it will be the last tab here or you just expand it here like this so you will find it here now after adding it as i told you like you will have to once reload the page okay and then open the selector sub so just after adding it reload the page once only required now you inspect any element and opens this here so there you go now we'll paste that same xpath which we were typing over here you see as soon as you type here it tells you that what's wrong invalid xpath double quote is missing so here you see that there's a double quote missing so it tells you immediately that something is missing in your xpath and that's how you can fix it for now like it is also giving the auto suggested xpath you can just turn it off if you doesn't if you just want to use it as an editor so we want to use it as an editor right now so you see that it immediately tells us that uh, there was this single double quote was missing so it tells it tells us that double quote is missing we immediately fix that if you added like let's say square bracket we have added it tells us that close square bracket is missing so that we can add it over here and uh, suppose like for an ins inspected element you are writing an xpath for this uh, let's say we inspected this free sign up button here you started writing here it gives the auto suggest that's an amazing feature and we selected this after closing a square bracket suppose if you have added let's say you want to write it for parent something you added li over here it tells you that after closing a square bracket what is allowed only forward slash and open square bracket is allowed so this way you would be able to learn more about uh, xpath error and selectors error right then uh, you click on this uh, there's a information if you want to learn more about uh, such errors like what are selectors errors and all so you click on this it will take you to that uh, page so you would be able to learn that okay then uh, suppose you have written uh, something like uh, here you say uh, like if you miss anything like here you are building with access so you just type parent and sister and then after that it will tell you that tag name is missing after colon colon so you will have to add tag name or whatever you want to add that over there like but at least you will have to add the tag name so from here you get to know that there after colon colon we have to add the uh, what kind of thing what values we are supposed to add then there are uh, more elements were like we were talking about this element here we copied this value and we got some x path over here but we in dev tools we found it 0 of 0 right you just paste the same value over here it will tell you that what is wrong invalid x path invalid svg x path format so this is how you would be able to learn that this is wrong something wrong is there we are doing it wrong and there i have created another video tutorial how to write uh, learn about svg elements x path so do check out that it's there already so you would be able to get more information what is the right syntax and wrong syntax for svg element at any point of time if you have more doubts you can just turn it on it will show you the correct format and auto generated selectors for all the possible selectors for the inspected element over here likewise there are more such uh, like we have inspected this element and you see that we found that zero of zero so let me just rest uh, refresh this page okay so we inspected this element and we found this the copy x path and you see that when you pasted it here it's showing nothing is showing is sometimes showing zero of zero right in fact like if you right click and copy the selector as well and paste it here it's not showing anything you just open selector so immediately you would be able to get to know that this is inside shadow dom this is inside shadow dom and if you paste your x uh, like css selector and if you copied this that x path value 
and if you paste that here you would be able to understand like learn about that error what is the error like why it was not showing here so invalid css selector expert doesn't support for shadow norm so this is how you would be able to learn like what is wrong in your selector likewise if you are writing in a css selector and you have that doubt like whether you should write your uh, like attribute value inside single quote or double quote that you can learn from here that that doesn't it's not mandatory that you will have to uh, type your uh, attribute val value you will have to close that or what you uh, if you do something wrong here like this way will that be uh, possible or not so all that you would be able to learn from here right so uh, it really help you and uh, like I, even in fact like in shadow roms it also helps you whether like what kind of shadow dom it supports and what uh, means not only this supports in fact like what also possible so you see that uh, there are two types of shadow dom open and closed so this is the closed one so if you inspect this element select sub will tell you that this element is inside closed shadow dom which is inaccessible for such element uh, we cannot write the x bar so that you would be able to understand while if you see that here this is an open shadow root elements so that is the reason that we are able to write and verify those selectors if anything like possible not possible if anything so you see that this is the comment so and selectors can't be generated for comment so that you also you would be able to learn so every possible thing you would be able to learn from selector sub and like if you are inspecting something like a script so of course like for a script tag there's no need of writing selector so it helps you that for a script tag a style tag all those things what is possible what is not possible what's wrong in your selectors everything it helps you with that so with this way you would be able to learn everything uh, you will become the master in writing selectors and this will really help you a lot and i hope this helps you and uh, this will help you a lot in learning like uh, any kind of errors if you do in your selectors so this will really help you and will save a lot a lot a lot time while building your x path and css selectors and in fact like while uh, debugging your report because many times we found that your selector is found in zero matching node but we didn't understand that something got deleted or something got missing in your x path in place of immediately we start writing the new x path so all those things you would be able to uh, this will really help you in all those scenarios and will save a huge amount of time i would request you like if you have any question any doubt feel free to reach out to me check out these footer links it will really this will really help you and uh, if you have any doubt do connect with me on slack and uh, please subscribe to this youtube channel so you would be able to uh, learn a lot more uh, such things i will be keep uploading uh, and plan lot of expert series and automation series also uh, i'm really thankful to uh, our primary sponsor test project this is a free end to end test automation tool do check out from here you just click and free sign up over there this is an uh, ultimate solution incredible solution for a web mobile and uh, api to check out this and this is absolutely free you just have to like free sign up hardly it will take 30 second or 1 minute for you to sign up and after confirmation you, uh, your account will be created and you would be able to use this amazing tool so and if you have any question anything any uh, issue related to selectors or or you want to uh, any improvement or anything do check uh, connect with me here over slack you can raise the issue or feature request on github and yeah and to make the best use of selector sub do watch this video tutorial click on this it will open the uh, the video tutorial with the latest one so do check out the uh, the video tutorial and all these uh, you can keep checking or checking it out here so yeah with that thank you thank you so much please uh, if you find this video useful please share your thoughts comments below and uh, you will find all the uh, useful links over in the uh, description please share it with the community with your team and with your uh, friends so that they would be able to help and learn about these things these errors and selectors and everything thank you thank you so much